Football Friday Night! Roar! Hey, a lot of screaming out there going on because we are so amped up. We waited all summer. It is finally here. Week one of Football Friday Night. We are going to get to games from across Central Iowa. Ticker bottom of your screen. Open up your app. We've got all the scores for you. Let's get through it right now, starting with our Game of the Week, a monster showdown. Jeff Dubrov joining us live at Valley Stadium. The dust has settled on a championship game rematch. Jeff? Yeah, Scott, dust has settled. Turf has settled. Fans have left. Trash being picked up. Highly anticipated game. We knew that. 5A state championship rematch. Valley looking for revenge. Let's get to these highlights. Like I said, very highly anticipated. A very good matchup coming in. Rams, two-time defending champions. Valley looking for that revenge. And they would strike first. Damon Head breaking through. 25-yard touchdown. This is a grown man run. Valley would take an 8-0 lead. Following drive, though, methodical for Southeast Polk after that Damon Head touchdown. It would be a 75-yard C.J. Phillip touchdown drive or capped off by a five-yard touchdown from C.J. Phillip, excuse me, 8-7 after that. Second quarter, Southeast Polk takes their first lead. Connor Moberly, more like Connor Mobley, rolling out to his left finder. It's Carter Butel, touchdown, 14-8 at the half. Let's go to the second half now. Each team would kick a field goal on their first drive of the half, so it's 17-11. And now Carson Moberly, or excuse me, Connor Moberly going to find Carson Robbins, and he does the rest. This is a two-yard slant, catch and run into the big box. He goes. They take a 24-11 lead, but Valley would not go away. A great run by Darius Mason. Big box bound. We are not done. 24-18. It's a three-yard run. Southeast Polk, though, from there, methodical plays keep away and they run the clock down and they're going to go on to win this game 24 18 i talked to connor mobley after the game said the offense in his opinion a little sloppy but the defense he said huge coming up with the win yeah i knew all summer going against them every single day you know they were going to be tough and uh i expected them to be be great and what was it 18 points yeah that's that's pretty pretty good in week one to come out there and hold a good offense like that to 18 points yeah, 18 points. Uh, Connor Mobley and the Rams going to get a nice trophy. We also saw Jason Sudeiko today, Chief Meteorologist Jason Sudeiko, first uh, casualty of the heat. He's the Chief Meteorologist. He needs to drink water. And by the way, he's wearing a Southie, or excuse me, he's wearing a Valley shirt with gold shorts and a gold hat. Jason, I know you're watching at home. Who are you rooting for? I guess you got, I mean, non biased, so good for you. Uh, Southeast Polk's going to get this trophy, one of many of these trophies they're getting, and one of many of the many trophies, I guess you could say, that are going in there joining the uh, guest state championships. Great first game, 24-18 the final. Southeast Polk wins it. Big season ahead. What a great start. Reporting live from Valley Stadium, Jeff Dubroff, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader. All right, thank you, Jeff. Jason, drink that water. Hey, you want to talk rivalries, how about this one? Battle for Ankeny. Ankeny and Centennial, two quality teams, and man, this game was close. Let's get you started here. Hawks were down 24-7, needing to get something going, but the Centennial defense, theme of the first half, a big sack. Ankeny says, that's all right. Connor Kayser scores a touchdown. Ankeny cuts the lead to 10. It's 24-14. Here's a big play. Ankeny going for it now on fourth and goal from the one. They're down 10, and Centennial stops them again. After we left, this game got nuts. Ankeny went for two and triple overtime, and Ankeny did win 39-38. A beach night out at Indianola. Urbandale in town trying to score the road upset. Urbandale starting a freshman quarterback in the opener. His name is Landon Rennan. Drops back, and he gets crushed. And as he's hit, the ball goes right to Dax Klatt of the Indians. Klatt, what a name, Dax Klatt. Runs it back inside the 10, sets this up. Indianola quarterback Andrew DeWall runs it in. It's 10-0 Indianola early in the first quarter. Now late first, Urbandale down 10-0. Indianola chance to add to the lead. Nice 
pick by Jordan Sturdivant, but just no offense. Indian Oil wins it 31 to nothing. Let's go to Drake Stadium. Lincoln and Roosevelt. Lincoln with the ball down 14-7. Jackson Lamb hits Aaron Guerrero, who will not go down. Nice play. Guerrero ties it at 14. Still in the second quarter, Roosevelt's turn. Transfer Jakari Patton, the quarterback this year for Roosevelt, to Hudson Miller. Hudson puts Roosevelt back in front, 21-14. Have you heard of Lincoln's running back, Javon Sanders? He is so fast. Sanders turns on the Jets right here to tie the game again. In the end, Roosevelt has a big fourth quarter and wins the ball game 42-32. Johnson hosted Joaquin Northwest. Johnson jumped out to a big lead early. Will Nuss to his big tight end, Jacob Simpson, who had two touchdowns in the first half. You're going to hear a lot about these two throughout the year. Dragons held on for a 23-17 win over the Wolves. Joaquin hosted Ames. It was all Joaquin. Beckett Baker to Charlie Cross to put the Warriors up 21-0 in the second quarter. Then it's Baker to Sage Yazzie. Yazzie, yes sir, 28-7. Joaquin scores again, they win 35-7 to start the season in style. Up next, our wild card game. Shannon Earhart is going to hit the road. And as we go to break, take a look at the talented Brooklyn Sedlock from Indianola. Welcome back, Shannon Earhart, with a little wild card action. Where are these fine folks from, Shannon? <laughs> these fine folks are from ACGC, Guthrie County. They told me it was a hick type of theme. <laughs> Not to offend anybody, but Scott, there's the Texas horns down. Oh, Let's get into what happened, though. You came to play, but we are here to win. The sign, ACGC versus Ogden. Ogden in town. You'll find out how that aged. Peyton Jacoby, the anchor of this Chargers defense, Recovers the dropped picks in by Caden Dudley on fourth and seven. Jathan Self airs it out for the first time all game. 
Peyton Palicki on the end of it for a 30 yard gain. They barely throw the ball. They should throw it more. That was successful. ACGC within inches here. This is in the second quarter after that gain. Brody Burnett punches it in for the first score of the game. Chargers go for two and lead eight nothing. It won't be for long. You're looking at Ogden unleashing its 6 5 QB1. Colby Roy. Talk about perfect placement. Keaton Westberg on the end of it. Unbelievable timing. 60 yards puts Ogden in the red zone. A pass up the gut to Dudley. Caps off the drive. But ACGC blocks a PAT and it'll save them in the end. ACG wins by a single point, 20 to 19. How about the battle for the bridge? Woodward Granger and Madrid, their annual rivalry game. And this was a very good game. Brian Jesse to Chandler Drake for Woodward. What a play. Touchdown. Woodward goes up 6 0. And then here comes Madrid. Nash. Bash Ramirez, a big run. Ooh. This could not be any closer, literally, because it was a one point ball game. Madrid wins at 28 27. Shannon. Close games tonight. DCG and White at Gilbert. It's DCG ball. Ty Mickelson with the ball. He's holding it for quite some time, scrambling oh, around man. in the pocket. Let's it loose. Jaden Jones, a huge gain for DCG. Big news there. How about those walking tacos? I know Jeff would like that. Mickelson to Dane Mock for the tutty. Here he comes up the sideline. 6-0 DCG. They miss the extra point. Gilbert defense Danny Buss had himself a day with a sack. But it's and Gilbert ends up winning 14 12. All right, here's a hard game to keep track of. You got South Harden in white and South Hamilton in red. We'll try to do our best here. South Harden, Jackson Drury, the run. No points on the drive, though. South Hamilton also with some nice offense. Preston Vanderpool, a nice run. South Hamilton got a touchdown from Jared and Johnson, and South Hamilton wins it 20 to 14. So at the home. red team, the red team. That's right. All right. Panorama at West Central Valley. Panorama led 21 14 at half. Ryan Coggle. Absolutely dismantles Trenton Narragon. He's not going anywhere. Sit down. West Central Valley tries for the field goal. Nate Gerling, the quarterback, is actually the kicker, too. How often you see that? Three points isn't going to be good enough, though, as Panorama tacks on another TD to win 28 17. When we come back, we have our fans of the week.
Welcome back. Dowling plays at CR Kennedy Saturday at 615 East and North or Saturday at 11. It's time for our fan of the week. I was out at Indianola. Great student section. He's had the tree. I had my man Lucas in the middle doing a little <laughs> Biff Tannen joke from Back to the Future. Make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it is. For Shannon Earhart, Jeff Dubroff, Robbie Risman, Mike Simmons, everybody else, have a good night. We'll see you next week.